today we're going to be redefining what the church and doctrine likes to call the rapture the rapture now we had there's movies out about the rapture where people are driving around and they're driving down the road or they're riding on an airplane or they're on a bus or something and all of a sudden that time comes that specific time that God's appointed and only he knows and then all of a sudden zeppo zingo they're gone and the, the bus driver who was taken and the bus careens out of control and goes over a cliff and all the school children die very dramatic very cinematic make a great movie but that's not what the rapture is and when you start to worship the Holy Ghost you're gonna to begin to notice that he's gonna to begin to take all of these squirrely things squirrely things that you believed in and and start to shine truth on them and guess what happens when truth gets shined on it guess what happens to that squirrely thing it begins to be seen for what it is it's a lie it's not truth it's a partial truth now there is a partial truth that the that the called ones will be captured the society will be taken away and we're gonna look at how that's gonna happen but it doesn't just happen like that we're redefining the rapture as not a singular event but the final step in a process from glory to glory have you ever heard that verse of Scripture you don't go from bus driver to glory you don't go from passenger on the airplane to glory you go from glory to glory it's a process a stepping a stepping over and what's gonna happen I hope you're listening to me what's gonna happen is the society people that are walking with God they know God they're walking with God in the earth today they're pleasing him they're they're walking with him by saying words they're gonna they're gonna go into the spirit and come out and go into the spirit and come out and go into the spirit and be changed from one glory to the next glory to the next glory until there is no other glory to be changed into and so we leave that's the rapture the rapture is us leaving second Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 7 now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is Liberty who is this talking about the Lord who is a spirit and where he's Lord there's Liberty where the spirit is Lord it could be written that way so when you get saved unto having the Spirit as Lord that's the redefinition of salvation now we walk with the Spirit of the Lord in the Liberty of the Spirit of the Lord but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory have you ever heard anybody say oh well they went on to glory talking about somebody when they died Aunt Betty she went on to glory well that's the rapture except you don't die you are translated you are transformed you go from one level of glory to the next level of gro glory that's the rapture we're redefining the rapture is not a singular event but the final step in a process the final step in a process not you know and and this is the thing that bugs me if you you, you think if, if somebody's just played the prayer and and now they're walking and and they're expecting to go to heaven when they die that they're going to be part of this rapture is ridiculous and it doesn't line up with the rest of scripture we're redefining the rapture is not a singular event but the final step in a process glory to glory where the society enters the spirit one last time and stays the society enters the spirit one last time and stays there this is huge in the Metropolitan Holy Ghost Society this is a huge doctrine this is where we're going this is how we're getting there this is the end result of walking with God in the earth today walking with God have you ever heard me say that we walk with God who is the Holy Ghost in the earth today we walk with him by saying we walk with him by our testimony by the things that come out of our mouth these things are going to be very important in a little bit but the end result of this is yes we're walking with God we're being changed from glory to glory and the last step of glory that we're going to be changed into is when we enter into the spirit and don't come back we're gone you know everybody gets caught up in the whole uh pre-trib uh tribulation or post-trib rapture all this stuff. none of that matters because we're we're not going to even be that the tribulation is for everybody else we don't tribulate we we glory to glory 
then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air so shall we ever be with the Lord well that sounds right like that we're just gonna be caught up in the air all of a sudden we're just gonna begin to float up and we'll be like oh my goodness oh my goodness I'm floating away and people that are in cars will have to somehow scramble to get out the window because otherwise the roof of the car is gonna be holding them in and they missed the rapture because of the roof of the car does this make any sense so only people that can be raptured are people that are actually just outside people inside can't be raptured because they will hit the ceiling they won't be able to float up to meet the Lord in the air that's not what that means that's goofiness the word air can be translated more specifically more defined as breath we're gonna meet the Lord in the spirit the spirit of breath now this is beginning to make sense we're gonna go into the spirit and stay there I wish God in his Bible would have told us and had gave us an example of someone who walked with God and was not for God took him because that's exactly what we're talking about here and thankfully he did the man's name was Enoch he walked with God and was not for God took him now we have a verse of scripture I don't know if I'm gonna have you turn there you can turn there later if you want it's Isaiah 46 10 it says that God and there's nobody like God but he declares the end from the beginning the end from the beginning so the end what we're in the last days you know that we're the last day society we're the last day church well he declared that from the beginning and the one the way that God declares things is by his man of God or by his prophet well Enoch was a prophet and his life declared what the end was gonna be like all the way from the beginning and here we have in Genesis chapter 5 verse 24 says and Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years Woo. that's verse 22 and he begat sons and daughters and all the days of Enoch were 360 and five years he walked with God for a long time and Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him here we have God prophesying the end from the beginning is who Enoch was and how he walked with God and what happened to him and thankfully we have a book called the book of the prophet Enoch that shows you specifically what happened to Enoch and he was constantly going into the spirit doing some work and coming back he'd go into the spirit and then come back he'd go into the spirit and come back and he'd learn about things he learned learned to walk with God over a period of time it took him 300 years it doesn't have to take you 300 years you can learn quickly how to walk with God. you know who God is you know that he's the Holy Ghost you know how to walk with him by saying words and as you get better at this your testimony will please God you will be accepted of God you learn how to walk with God and you will be not for God will take you here we have Jude quoting word for word from the book of Enoch now we have the Bible so if I quote from uh, and get things out of the book of of Enoch but and we have the Bible getting things out of the book of Enoch then I'm okay and I'm in good company by quoting from it and Enoch also verse 14 Jude Enoch also the seventh from Adam prophesied of these things saying behold the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds what they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him that is a direct word-for-word -word quote from this book it is specifically quoted in scripture therefore it is giving some some kind of testimony to what is in this book is correct and what you have in this book like I said before is Enoch going into the spirit and coming out going into the spirit and coming out over and over and over again and being changed and learning about God until all of a sudden he was approved of God and God took him he is the type of the last day society of the last day church it was not a one-time thing God uh, Enoch was walking with God and God took him 
that's what it seems like but that's not the way it was Hebrews chapter 11 uh, verse 5 by faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death Enoch is a type of the last day society of the Metropolitan Holy Ghost Society he was translated we will be translated so that we don't see death and was not found because God had translated him for before his translation he had this testimony that he pleased God what did Enoch have in his mouth he had a testimony that pleased God he had words of faith in his mouth the Bible specifically says he walked with God well who is God in the earth today the Holy Ghost and then we're going to have God's words in our mouth that please God that create faith that cause us to be translated from one glory to the next we've distilled the message of the Bible and into our last day into the, these two very specific things that a Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words the end result of this walking with God the Holy Ghost and saying words will be the going from glory to glory and being translated you'll go into the spirit and come out you'll go into the spirit and come out you'll go into the spirit and come out and you'll go into the spirit and not come out that's what we're doing and as we define our words more and more and learn how to walk with God more and more we will enter farther and farther into the spirit from glory to glory the end result will be the society being translated which is and going into the spirit and not coming out which is our definition of the rapture at some point we the earth just can't hold us anymore we have to take one more step and when we take that step we'll just be out of here this is the end for every society member you will be caught up and together so shall you ever be with the Lord that's where we're going that's the point that's the point of walking with the Holy Ghost Jesus's ministry brought us to the Holy Ghost which was the point of Jesus's ministry now we're walking with the Holy Ghost and his part of his ministry and the point of his ministry is so that we can be translated and be forever with him in the spirit so somebody ask you oh yeah you're a society member well, uh, do, what's the point of that well the point is I can walk with God every day of my life and learn how to walk with him better and better just like Enoch did and Enoch prophesied about me I'm at the end he was at the beginning his life prophesied about me I'm Enoch in the last day say I'm Enoch in the last day that feels really good who's Enoch in the last day society people Revelations 21 21 and the 12 gates were 12 pearls every several gate was of one pearl and the street of the city was of pure gold and it was transparent glass what are we talking about here where are we talking about here we're talking about heaven we're talking about the kingdom of heaven each gate the Bible specifically says let's see was one pearl now either that's a very big oyster or it's what I'm gonna tell you right now see because I do walk with God by saying words and I walk with God on a daily basis and every day I walk with God and and he speaks to me <clears throat> and I I begin to use my testimony and where, where it pleases God because I'm speaking in faith and I walk with God by saying words and I walk with God by saying his words in other tongues and I do it a lot I do it a lot and as I'm doing this I go from glory to glory and one of these times I went into the spirit now this should not be so difficult for you to understand so now, now that I've explained this this is how it's supposed to happen I've been in the spirit many 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 times and every times I'm translated a little bit farther from one glory to the next and 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 in this one time I was I was taken in the spirit you was taken yeah I was taken in the spirit just like Enoch just like Enoch I came back see now uh, I there may there's going to be coming a time when we don't come back we go and we don't come back that's called the rapture but as I'm there the, the Spirit of God took me and I'm up in the spirit and I'm outside the, the looking at the city the kingdom of heaven and I saw this giant giant sphere and if you if you didn't know and back here you know how are you gonna explain it? I'm having a hard time explaining it now but 
the apostle john here in the book of revelation just said it, it was like a pearl well it couldn't possibly be a pearl created by a giant clam because the the, the city was huge could you imagine the clam it wasn't it looked like that and, and i'm telling you that's what it looked like it had a sheen about it, it had a it had an essence and, and and but the shape of it was like a pearl and it was a mile high and a mile wide it was huge it, it, it was hard to fathom <laughs> and i'm sitting there looking at it and as i'm sitting there looking at it i see this vehicle this this some kind of a, 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 a some type of a of an aircraft now can i say aircraft well we're going to be caught up in the air to meet the lord so it will be a caught up in the aircraft some kind of craft and to me once again i'm trying to explain it with my earthly language it was like a like a boeing 747 or one of those the dreamliners one of those giant aircraft and as it got closer and closer and closer to this sphere that looked like that looked like a pearl it just went through and it was by the time it got there it was so so small this was a giant aircraft and when it got there it was it was you could almost not even see it that's how big this gate was why are you telling us this because this we're going to be transported there that's what society people the metropolitan holy ghost society and society members were i'm taking you on this bus that's where we're going this air bus this aircraft that is going to take us all there that's where we're going is this making sense why did god show me that because he even just recently he started to show me that that's the point because the people that are coming in and i'm glad you're here are going to be transported from one glory to the next glory until we go and we don't come back it'll be like a field trip that you never come back from a field trip in the spirit and now people can understand that do you remember that when you'd go you'd all get on the bus it was field trip day and everybody was excited and they all get together and they'd walk in in single file and they'd they'd file on the bus and then they'd go visit you know the maple syrup factory or whatever it was that you were going to it was a different kind of day well, it's the same way we go on a field trip but you came back from the field trip you came back from the maple syrup factory it's the same thing we go there and we come back we go into the spirit we're changed a little more we learn how to walk with god a little bit more until that one time when we go and we don't come back is this making sense this is where we're headed i'm glad you're here i'm glad you're on board because as you continue to walk with God and I'm, I'm believing that this message has encouraged you to go farther in your walk in the Spirit in your walk with the Holy Ghost